So next, Professor Tamura Mika will introduce the School of Engineering. And together with her, Mr. Paragon Lekna Mongol, or Earth, as we call him, an international student currently enrolled in the school, will also be joining the session. Please, Professor Tamura. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, hello, everyone. <laughs> My name is Mika Tamura, and I'm coordinator for international undergraduate program at the School of Engineering. Uh, in this sessions, uh, there are two speakers. Uh, first, I will give a brief introduction of our English-based program. And then uh, one of our fourth-year uh, students, Ars, will share his experiences uh, of studying and doing research uh, in his program. Okay, let me start. Okay, so uh, in the School of Engineering, uh, we have four uh, science and in engineering program, which are all taught in English, um, which are applied chemistry, uh, civil engineering, electrical engineering and computer science, and mechanical engineering, uh, mechanical and aerospace engineering. So in applied chemistry program, you will study the creation of materials with structures and functions controlled at atomic or molecular levels. So in this program, we will provide an advanced education in chemistry, which can be applied to various fields, such as nanotechnology, uh, information technology, environmental science, and biosciences. In civil engineering program, you will study the building, uh, maintenance, and uh, control of social infrastructure and studies into restoration of damaged natural environments. Um, so the program covers a wide range of research such as building design and constructions, transportation and urban planning, and geodis disaster prevention and ocean and river engineering. Um, in mechanical and aerospace engineering program, you will gain a diverse knowledge of mechanical engineering uh, essential for development of cutting edge, edge technology in areas such as machine design, uh, system control, uh, automobile, space system engineering, uh, hydrogen uh, energies. Um, finally, in electrical engineering and computer science program, you will learn to create new product and services in wide industry fields, ranging from social infrastructure, such as energy management systems and intelligence transportation systems, to cutting edge application of information, such as mobile communication and remote medical inspections. So there are three measures in this course, uh, electrical engineering, um, electrical and electronic engineering, electronic and com communication uh, engineering, and computer engineering. So um, as you study, um, like um, you can take the courses from your majors. So um, so these are the actually examples of classes offered uh, from this course. So you will take uh, circuit theory, um, electro electric energy and integrated circuits, these courses. And in the second semester of the third year, uh, all students will choose um, their like the laboratory of their choice, and you'll become a member of research group and conduct your own research. I think that is a highlight uh, of like studying and also doing the research in my university, in this university, Kyushu University. So from now, um, let's move on to student. Uh, okay, I just would like to add this. So uh, why you study in IUP engineering program? Uh, there are five reasons to it. Uh, number one, education by top professors and doing the research with leading scientists. Even though you're undergraduate, you get the chance to do it. Then number two, study in English and learn Japanese. Uh, as you already understand, uh, we are providing um, all the classes in English, but you can also learn Japanese language up until your uh, business level. Three, very small interactive classes of three to four, uh, three to seven students. So you can see a photo of the the current third year students uh, of applied chemistry. So there are how many? Uh, seven students, yeah, in total. And for most of them from Asian countries. So it's a very small group. So the class will be very interactive. 
And number four, join their uh, blindest minds from across the bridge. So you are a science student, I guess, uh, but then most of the students in our university are from uh, like a, like a, uh, the best science schools uh, in Asian countries. So you will study with them. And number five, uh, general support available uh, exclusively for our student. So you already heard about the uh, financial support is, uh, for this program. We have a various scholarship available. Okay, let's move on to uh, student testimonial. Um, Asa, are you ready? Yes, I see. Okay, <laughs> please start. Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Parakon Legnamukon, or well, you can call me Earth for short. And now I am in fourth year in electrical engineering and computer science of Kyushu University. And today I will gonna talk about the experience of the international engineering students. So, sorry, you can Okay, uh, so um, my basic information is I'm at KK. I am Thai and both my interest is in mathematics and computer science. Also, I have interest in educational systems and both my hobby is just reading the books and I'm the foodie person. So that's why I think I live here is the best place to live here because I love Tonkotsi Ramen very much. So uh, living here in the Fukuoka, we when just after landing, uh, the Kyushu University will help us uh, support us by commuting us from uh, Fukuoka airports to Kyushu University. And the TA will help us from when you starting landing until you just finish with all the documented stuff. And when I just came here, like dormitory is really nice and it's full of people with different backgrounds. And uh, well, the other thing is, if you are feeling that you're not comfortable with your Japanese, then the, we have a, the university support you with a Japanese language according to your level. So at least I came from Thailand without any uh, Japanese uh, knowledge. But uh, after I stay here, uh, I can learn Japanese enough for me to survive. And uh, quite right, right here, there are so many friends. So because I'm learning IUP international courses, so the friends are, there will be friends with different cultures. So it will create a small cultures that are really good to stay with, they're fun, they're happy. And we have some several activities, both uh, unofficial or official to gather us together. And here's some pictures. There are some cute SI. Uh, it's the top two top pictures, two top pictures. And the left bottom one is a Thai gathering. It's a parade of uh, international parade in held in Fukuoka in Hakata. And the uh, right bottom one is uh, our friends uh, going to the beach for a barbecue party. So yeah, we are here to study, right? So after we talking about those kind of uh, living here, uh, well, I understand that university is a really hard uh, place to go, to go get along with after you go on like in the social media, you have to bring coffee to work. But however, when you are being here, uh, the courses doesn't, uh, so the curriculum doesn't force you that much because uh, and the first start, the curriculum will just be some easy stuff. And then the difficulty gradually increases as the, as the years go by. So you have like one and a half years to adjust yourself uh, before you go on. Now, not in the first uh, first three semesters, it's not only about science, but uh, if you're learning engineering, but you also have many subjects that can make you kind of like, just have a rest from the science. And there's also PE, which is a compulsory subject, but it's not kind of like PE that we have to uh, work out those kind of things, but it's kind of like how to be aware of yourself. So 
it will help you feel better and have encourage you to like do to have good health. So the university, uh, why I love the university is the university is research oriented. But since I am like quite a nerdy guy, so I like mathematics and physics, and I love some kind of like theory, theory stuff. So that's why I joined quantum informatics. Uh, this is a new lab that have been uh, created in Kyushu University, and the professors and the postdocs in the lab is really supportive. Uh, even though the quantum science is just the out of the top, out of the field, it's like we need to relearn everything again. But however, professors and postdocs are really generous. So even the topic is tough. Now, since the university has a research oriented, so you have various types of laboratories according to your uh, according to your interest. And every of the research topics are quite the hot topic that are available now. So you can maybe see more uh, laboratories on the website. Also, like the facilities of research are easily accessible in every laboratory. So you have like many kind of, uh, like maybe a lab, a laboratory uh, equipment and the maybe supercomputer that maybe you need to run some programs that are really uh, memory consuming. You can be asked to use supercomputers and you can use it like, uh, quite immediately. And there's opportunities everywhere. So there's dozens of activities and conference and inter in internships waiting for you. For example, the activity that Q decides is like, uh, if you're joining a club and associations in the university, you can manage the food, foods, and activities. Or uh, I joined it around like seven, you know, last semester is tandem language exchange. So I made friends through practicing a communicating in Japanese. So I communicate with English. But, uh, well, like the first part, I would just talk in English. So the Japanese students, the Japanese friends will practice English. And then the, after that, we switch the language to Japanese too. So they, so he can help me in Japanese. And also I take a chance to enroll in Japanese courses in which is engineering Japanese courses to just, I want to know more about the subjects. So uh, I wish you can join us to lead Talk to Browning together. Thank you.